Hi there, this is Katie with the channel Weather Shaman. Welcome if you're new, and a big hello to my returning subscribers. I have a spirit animal guidance reading planned for you for August 8th, Thursday, August 8th. Now, August 8th is a big day energetically since it marks the Lion's Gate or Lion's Gateway as part of Leo season. August is the eighth month in the calendar year. And with the eighth day, it makes it an 8-8, eight, eight, a double eight number in a numerology that's huge. Uh, eight usually symbolizes abundance and is the infinity symbol upright. You take the infinity symbol, which is a figure eight sideways, and then you put it upright, and that becomes an eight. So let this Lion's Gate energetic portal or gateway bring forth an abundance of good energies, good vibes, and help accelerate and push you forward into your life purpose. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the deck and see what spirit animal wants to come out for this Lion's Gateway energy on 8-8. Dear angels, archangels, ascended masters of the highest Christed light, please help give us a card for August 8th. This one looks like it was just popping out, so let's see what it says. All right, we've got the frog, frog spirit. I love frogs. These also have a very abundant, loving energy. Frog, it states, clear out the clutter. Oh, I know I need to do that. Declutter and make room for the new. The more that we take time to empty out old stuff in closets and stuff under our bed and throw things away we don't need, the more space that we're going to create to allow room for the new and beautiful blessings that are trying to come in and come forth into our life. In order to be more receptive to blessings and gifts and new beginnings in our lives, we have to be sure that we have the space energetically and physically to receive them and to be open to them. So go ahead and do some decluttering and maybe organize and some feng shui. Move things around and add happy colors and things that make you feel good about yourself, like happy looking decorations. Kind of just restyle your home or your bedroom and that will really, really help get the energies moving. Okay, so what we're going to do is look up the interpretation in the book according to Colette Baron reed for Frog Spirit. Okay, frog spirit knows that while all the other frogs are croaking away, this is a time for you to simplify and declutter your life so you can feel content on your own lily pad. Even when life isn't creating a total, I'm not sure how to pronounce this word, <laughs> it's C-A-C-P-H-O-N-Y, uh, uh, cacophony, <laughs> even when life isn't creating a total cacophony, if you know how to pronounce that word, please let me know. We can become drawn to the excitement of lots of noise. Then, the next thing we know, our schedules and homes are cluttered with commitments we regret making and objects taking up valuable space. Even relationships need decluttering as they often become messy. Frog spirit appears to tell you to clean house, prioritize what you need, and get rid of and get rid of or get away or give away the rest so you can have some space in your day and in your head. You don't need the old stuff and its stories shouting at you about the past. Along with physical clutter, friendships are sometimes kept long past their expiration date, weighing you down with unnecessary baggage. Now is the time to let go. Whatever you need will appear when you need it. So release your grip on all that clutter that is making you feel anxious and burdened. Frog Spirit wants you to reclaim your space, unencumbered by shoulds, unencumbered by shoulds, oughts, and could have beens. Let go and jump. You are free from all that old stuff. All right. So we really need to clear out what no longer is serving us and really also be aware of people, places, and things that we're surrounding ourselves with and be sure that the friends that we're hanging out with are friends that are still in alignment with us energetically, that lift us up, make us feel happy, inspired, and good about ourselves as opposed to 
bad about ourselves. So be sure that you're surrounding yourself with positive energy. And remember, your vibe attracts your tribe. I got that from Ralph Smart, Infinite Waters YouTube channel. So if your vibe attracts your tribe, that means that it all starts with you. All starts with going within, okay? So really be sure you're taking care of yourself and you're living your fullest and greatest potential each and every day, eating healthy, balancing exercise with rest, and just treating yourself to something special once in a while, okay? And just really think in terms of an abundance mindset. Remember, there's plenty to go around, and we are all meant to share resources with one another and help each other expand and grow into a beautiful new reality. So sending you an abundance of peace, love, and light from me to you. Let frog spirit guide you, inspire you, and comfort you on Thursday, August 8. Namaste.